audible and visible let me just check if my audio video is all fine and welcome uh, in this new session of dermatology a uh, very very happy new year to all my dear students from today we will be starting a whole new set of mcqs in dermatology uh, today we have a very important session where i will be discussing the uh, questions from the must know topics in dermatology so till the others join let me just start with the today's okay. session i am dr cheshta garwal your neat pg educator on the best online platform that is an academy on an academy we are going with a amazing offer of 22% off so this is something which is in the history of an academy the maximum discount till now so if you subscribe an academy using the referral code cheshta10 c h e s t a 10 you can get 22% off on any an academy subscription this offer extend till january 5 i request all of you to please avail this it was actually till yesterday but because of huge demand from the students we have extended it to 5th of january these are some of our top uh, learners who have cleared their fmg exam on an academy we provide two type of subscriptions one is plus which give you an access to an academy live classes and iconic which give you an access to both an academy and prep ladder we also have free live classes on the app every day i do conduct a free session at 3 pm so i request all of you to download the an academy learning app at 3 pm use this code and start watching all my free live classes we have a highly effective question bank of 25000 plus question we have new features like raise a hand where you can ask any doubt many new batches which are in the line of getting started like target neat pg batch focus fmg batch which is a 6 month batch and we have a target next integrated for 2023 exam requesting all of you to please be a part of it you can use my code cheshta10 and get an academy subscription we have 3 month 6 month 12 month and so on for plus and we have 12 month and longer subscription for iconic requesting all of you to please don't forget this code that is cheshta10 and start watching my classes i request all of you to please take this code and get 22% discount starting with the first question of the today's session a 27 year old woman who presented to dermatology department with a 2 year history of pruritic pain pinpoint wheels which is surrounded by erythema these were induced by heat exercise hot bath emotional upset there is no respiratory difficulty which is the best treatment for this condition anti helminthics systemic corticosteroids anti histaminics or adrenaline anybody can tell me the correct answer for this question 27 year old woman with two year history of these lesions so good evening prakhar alia and shweta requesting all of you if you are thinking of buying an academy as you know that the covid uh, the cases are uh, you know in a rise again and many of the offline things are not working so i would recommend all of you to please go with the off online classes on an academy please remember that the correct answer here is option number 3 Now, what is this a case of? This is a very classical case of cholinergic urticaria. The cholinergic urticaria occurs whenever there is increase in the core body temperature. Now, when there is increase in core body temperature, actually the acetylcholine induced uh, sweat gland or sweat secretion occurs, which cools the body. Along with that, it also stimulates the release of histamine, causing the purpuric lesions, uh, the pruritic lesions of the skin, which is known as cholinergic urticaria. for these conditions you have to give antihistaminics which is usually a second generation of antihistaminic moving to the next question on your computer screen 27 year old healthy woman with allergic rhinitis presented to the emergency department reporting a four day history of fever odynophagia sore throat purpuric skin lesions muscle aches as well as unilateral wrist elbow and ankle pain patient confirmed unprotected oral and vaginal sexual intercourse exclusively with her partner for past 6 month gram stain of the positive blood cultures reveal gram negative diplococci what will be the diagnosis anybody what will be the diagnosis here very clear cut last line says a sufficient hint or gives a sufficient hint to you <coughs> anyone can tell me the answer 
please remember the correct answer of this question is disseminated gonococcal infection now when it says that you have gram negative diplococci you are sure about the diagnosis that is gonococcal induced second very important thing is gonococcus usually causes urethritis in a sexually active individual but sometimes it can even have an ascending infection or it can have a blood borne disease which is known as disseminated gonococcal infection it usually present as dermatitis arthritis syndrome where you have features on skin like purpuric rashes or you can have involvement of the joint so this is a very classical case of disseminated gonococcal infection moving to the next a very lengthy question i request all of you to please read it very very carefully a very lengthy question a 29 year old female with gestational diabetes and hypothyroidism she was diagnosed in the first trimester of pregnancy and she presented at 32nd week of gestation with pruritic urticarial plaques located in the navel area due to the dermatosis uh, there is exacerbation these dermatoses exacerbated uh, post delivery and on examination we can see a clear bulla hemorrhagic crust which is present on the navel part and the proximal part of the thigh okay shweta how does it turn into dissemination uh, shweta what happens in gonococcus infection sometimes the gonococcus gain enter into blood and in those cases when it is a long standing untreated gonococcus infection you can even get a dissemination into the blood clear now first of all tell me what is the diagnosis anybody can tell me in this question what will be the diagnosis in this question can anybody tell me what can be the diagnosis in this question can anybody tell me what can be the diagnosis alia venkateshan shweta dr mansi anusha anyone yes the diagnosis is the diagnosis is pemphigoid gestationalis it is a condition which occurs at second or third trimester of pregnancy it occurs when the estrogen progesterone levels are high now the mother develops antibodies against the fetal cells like trophoblast and these antibodies uh, trophoblastic antibodies it cross react with maternal antigen of basement membrane zone that is bp180 you tend to develop igg type of bp180 antibodies and because of this patient develops tense bulla where the split is at the level of dermo epidermal junction so very well done the correct answer is option number 1 venkateshan it is not option number 3 and this is not pemphigus tens bulla bhaiya tens bulla i have already explained never you never see tens bulla in a pemphigus patient so the correct answer is pemphigus gestational is only one student alia khan she is right nobody else is right highly requesting you dermatology do not take it lightly 13 question this year directly from derma in neat pg 2021 direct 13 questions and two questions were derma micro integration we are expecting the similar proportion of questions in this upcoming neat pg also i request all of you to kindly subscribe an academy either today or tomorrow using this code because we are going on with 22% discount so you can take a short subscription of 3 month that would be sufficient for you can take a shorter subscription of 3 month that will be sufficient for your preparation of neat pg 2022 i will be teaching everything in detail the vesicular bullas the psoriasiform disorders etc which is very very important for your exam moving to the next question again very lengthy question i request or recommend all of you to kindly read it very slowly and try to answer the question <clears throat> Birju, very nice. Then we have Shweta, Venkateshan, Alia, Anusha, Mansi. Please read the question. A 79-year-old man was admitted to our hospital with nasal bleeding, and there is a maxillary sinus carcinoma. Uh, there is also the aggressive bone destruction, which is seen on CT scan. Patient have also noticed that there is some edema or rash around the upper lip. There is also some red color plaque on the dorsal aspect of the interphalangeal joint. And along with that, he has also observed that recently he has started developing proximal muscle weakness. Which of the following is the correct answer about the diagnosis for this patient? The correct answer with respect to diagnosis 
upon this patient. Dermatomyositis, systemic lupus erythematosus, photodermatitis or actinic dermatitis. Anyone can tell me the answer? Prakhar, Shweta, Birju. A 79-year-old man who was admitted to our hospital with nasal bleeding, left cheek swelling which is suggestive of maxillary cell carcinoma. What is the correct answer here? Which is the correct answer here? Anyone? Good. So here the correct answer is option number one. Please remember around 40% of dermatomyositis patients have, have an underlying nasopharyngeal carcinoma. And the features which are suggestive of the dermatomyositis is proximal muscle weakness, uh, this is heliotrop rash, this is the gotron's papules and plaque. So correct answer becomes option number 1 because 40% of the individual have underlying nasopharyngeal carcinoma. We can also see the ovarian carcinomas etc in these individuals. Let's move to the next question. Let me move it a little bit below so that uh, you, know, you people can read it carefully. Yes. Clearly. Please tell me the answer here. Three-year-old female presented with night blindness of one month duration. Visual equity appeared to be normal. Conjunctiva appeared lusterless suggesting xerosis. Anterior segment and dilated fundus examination shows unremarkable features. But you can see cutaneous lesions in the form of intra-follicular plugging. Anyone? Alia Khan, Shweta, Alka, Mansi, very well done all my dear students. This is a very classical example of, a very classical example of Phrynoderma, a very classical example of Phrynoderma or vitamin A deficiency. Now vitamin A deficiency is the most common cause of Phrynoderma but you can also get the same features of dryness of skin, keratotic uh, papules on the extensors in patients with essential fatty acid deficiency or multiple vitamin deficiency like A, E etc. So here I think everybody is clear. In vitamin A deficiency, we see xerosis on the eyes. They can even give rise to better spot. The first initial manifestation is night blindness, okay, followed by all these features. So I think this is an easy question. The correct answer is uh, in this question, option number one. Uh, let me just move it a little below, moving to the next question. Anyone can tell me, one and a half year old boy presented with generalized scaling. A one and a half year old boy presented with generalized scaling over whole body, redness over both cheek. On examination, there was a fine white to brown scaling over the whole body without any spared area with glistening surface over palm and sole. Involvement of the flexures, left-sided cryptorchidism was present. Histopathological examination was done which revealed mild hyperkeratotic and hypergranulosis. What will be your diagnosis? Very nice, Alka, Shweta, Supratik, Alia, Exporten, Birju. Very well done all of you. Again requesting if anybody interested in taking an academy subscription, please remember this code CHESHTA10. You can get the Unacademy subscription today tomorrow to avail 22% discount on the Unacademy subscription. Now in this question, the important hints which we are getting is first there is presence of brown color scales on the whole body without any sparing, very important. Second is 
crypt orchidism is something which is seen and on histopath we have hypergranulosis all these points favors the diagnosis of what it favors the diagnosis of all these points favors the diagnosis of x linked ichthyosis okay so it favors the diagnosis of x linked ichthyosis but in ichthyosis vulgaris there is autosomal dominant inheritance yellowish color scales sparing of flexures associated with atopic dermatitis on on histopath you have hypogranulosis what is c okay moving to the next question moving to the next question ratan aged 11 years born of non consanguineous marriage presented asymptomatic uh, presented with asymptomatic pigmented lesions on the upper lip his parent did not have any similar lesion on examination hyperpigmented patch was seen extending on the uh, extensor aspect of the arm forearm till the dorsum of the hand involvement of the upper back and scapula with hypertrichosis was noted the remainder of the physical examination was normal which is or what is your diagnosis which is or what is your diagnosis very nice everyone aliya alka supratik rakesh amazing all of you very well done melanocytic nevus baker's nevus sebaceous nevus or comedo nevus very nice the correct answer of this question is baker's nevus please remember if an adolescent individual gets a brown color lesion on the trunk which occurs or which increased in size during the adolescent have, having associated hypertrichosis very classical of baker's nevus and that is what is the case here it is a epidermal melanocytic nevi where the nevus cell have androgen receptors over them so at the time of puberty it grows in proportion to the body and they can even have associated increase hair as well as acne form eruptions over the body very nice pg aspirant venkatesh anusha shweta alka aliya aruna supratik rakesh welcome all of you and uh, we have a good number of students today so requesting everybody to kindly answer these questions 18 year old presented with a 8 month history of dispigmentation of the skin of face neck he denies any preceding redness scaling pruritus no truncal or lower extremity involvement no truncal or lower extremity involvement but he did admit frequent sun exposures and lack of sun protection he do admit frequent sun exposures and lack of sun protection no one in his family had similar lesion and he denies any personal or family history of autoimmune disease on doing an histopath examination we can see interface dermatitis with melanin incontinence dermal melanophages and mild dermal atrophy which of the following is the correct answer in this particular question anybody can tell me the answer now please remember this is a very classical example of lichen plano pigmentosus there are majority who have marked option number 3 but please remember in dl you will see atrophy of the epidermis also why only mild dermal atrophy we are seeing we can see the atrophy of the whole thickness of the epidermis in lichen planus we have a variety which is known as lichen plano pigmentosus it presents without any preceding itching or nothing like that but when you do a histopath you will see a very classical feature resembling a patient of resembling a patient of lichen planus i hope that is clear digvijay divakar anusha aliya can you all give me a quick thumbs up if you are clear with this point theek hai ji good 15 year old female student presented with a hypopigmented asymptomatic macule on the left forearm the lesion measured 2 into 5 cm and on pressing the lesion there was no disappearance of hypopigmentation woods lamp examination showed an off white accentuation examination of other area did not reveal any similar lesion so what is the answer this is again a very important point 
this is something which is giving you a hint on pressing the lesion there is no disappearance of the hypopigmented border there is no disappearance of the hypopigmented border so what is the correct answer what is the correct answer understood all of you this question can you give me a quick quick thumbs up very nice aruna venkatesh supratik the correct answer of this question is nevus achromaticus or nevus depigmentosus now we have to differentiate it from nevus anemicus and that can be done by nevus anemicus that can be differentiated from nevus depigmentosus when you do a simple dioscopy when you press the lesion you will see that the border the lesional border gets disappeared in nevus anemicus but there is no disappearance of the border of the lesion in nevus depigmentosus or achromaticus clear so this is a very important question i hope everybody have got it this cannot be a case of vitiligo no in vitiligo when you do a woods lamp what do you see you see ivory white not off white it is ivory white accentuation which is seen in a patient of acral vitiligo or any sort of vitiligo okay so please requesting you to understand the topic and answer the question correctly now a 23 year old pregnant female presented with a complaint of generalized pustular eruption of one month duration it started as a papulovesicular lesion which later becomes pustule this was associated with low grade intermittent fever she denied any history of sore throat or drug intake prior to appearance of the rash cutaneous examination reveals the presence of multiple pustule on an erythematous background over the scalp face trunk and extremity what will be the diagnosis very nice aruna what about the others aliya khan anusha alka kushveer supratik i am requesting all of you to please utilize the uh, 22% discount of an academy if you use the code cheshta10 today and tomorrow till january 5th you have this offer you can get 22% off on an academy subscription this is a new year gift from an academy to all the students you can even take a shorter subscription of 3 month which will help you in neat pg 2022 preparation okay the correct answer of this question is i think we have nobody have answered this yes it is impetigo herpeti formis what is impetigo herpeti formis it is the generalized pustular psoriasis or erythrodermic psoriasis of pregnancy now somebody have written or few uh, have written option number 2 impetigo contagiosa is nothing but non bullous impetigo which is a stef- streptococcus infection non bullous impetigo it is a streptococcal infection non bullous impetigo which is a streptococcus infection clear ajit i hope this is clear to all of you clear hai good chalo so the correct answer of this question is option number 4 moving to the next question moving to the next question anybody can tell me the answer of the next question very nice again anybody who is attending my class for the first time i request you to please download the anacademy learning app and watch tomorrow at 2:30 pm sorry at 3 pm i take free live classes on an academy where a lot of mcqs are discussed on the platform absolutely free of cost a 33 year old male was referred to dermatology opd for recurrent peronychia that did not respond to several courses of terbinafi over the prior 12 month he developed painful swelling on his joint concomitant nail changes swelling with redness of the distal interphalangeal joint at the right index and little finger now since 4 month patient gave or patient started developing thick erythematous patches over the body as shown what is your diagnosis what is your diagnosis 
very nice amazing the correct answer of the question is psoriasis now what is this a case of this is a case of psoriatic arthritis can anybody tell me what should be the treatment of choice for psoriatic arthritis how to treat a patient of psoriatic arthritis treatment option or the best possible treatment for psoriatic arthritis anyone yes the treatment of choice for the patient of psoriatic arthritis is methotrexate methotrexate is considered to be the treatment of choice methotrexate is considered to be a treatment of choice next question is a very very interesting question so can you all answer this question a very classical image of something first of all i want everybody to just have a look on the image so this is a girl who has a depression sort of lesion on the center of the forehead can you see a depression and you can see that this is extending onto the forehead also and over this depression there is no hair on the forehead and as well as you can see a little bit of atrophy which is present on the forehead yes drug of choice i am asking about the drug of choice ajit and uh, see whatever it is if it is a uh, drug of choice also and if it is treatment of choice also the answer to both of them is methotrexate phototherapy is neither of these two okay For, what is phototherapy it is also a drug you are giving soralin and you are asking the patient to stand under the sunlight or uv radiation so phototherapy is never a treatment or a drug of choice in a patient of psoriatic arthritis always methotrexate is the answer yes the correct answer of this question is encoop d saber which is nothing but a localized morphia morphia is a type of scleroderma where the systemic organs are not involved but in systemic sclerosis you see involvement of skin as well as systemic organs so that is the difference between systemic sclerosis and morphia both of them are both of them are scleroderma okay so morphia when it occurs over the face it gives an appearance which is known as encoop d saber encoop d saber means as if somebody have hit the patient with a sword it is looking like this somebody have hit the patient with sword okay so this is a very easy question i think nothing to be worried of and this will be the last question for the today's session after this question will end our session 75 year old male presented with complaints of generalized pruritus on the right upper quadrant pain what is the answer generalized pruritus on the right upper quadrant pain uh you have right upper quadrant pain pale stools uh, on doing the examination we can see icterus all the features tells you that there is obstructive liver condition and the question is whenever you have an obstructive liver condition what should be the treatment option available what should be the treatment option or what should be your treatment of choice or drug of choice for this patient supratik uh jatvik sam venkateshan aruna divakar ajit anyone uh, ajit every day at 4:30 pm i have the sessions every day at 4:30 pm i have the session okay okay so the correct answer for this question is option number 4 whenever you have itching second to obstructive liver disease always remember you have to give opioid inhibitors okay you have to give opioid inhibitor so thank you all of you with this we are done with the today's session i hope uh, you have enjoyed my today's class requesting all of you to please subscribe to this youtube channel that is let's crack neat pg we also have a telegram group with the same name and that is let's crack neat pg if you like this class i request you to kindly give me thumbs up and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my classes again uh, repeating the same thing that we are continuing with the offer of 22% discount if you use the referral code cheshta10 c h e s t a 10 so kindly use this code and start 